given all the other things they were thinking about but soccer, now that they've been in Orlando for a week, they have a game under their belt to get all sort of click back into place. Larea on the feed, Akinola's in the middle, Larea cutting it back, Richie Larea scores! Oh, this is terrific from Larea. And you talked about him coming in for the injured Justin Morrow, right footed, right back, playing at left back. Well, this is what he wants to do. He gets down using his speed, cuts past the defender so well to get back onto that fa favorite right foot. And then look at the pace and the speed here. The power just beating Joe up to that far post. That's perfection. Great finish. From Orlando, it was Emmanuel Maciel who got the yellow card early. Instead of Louis Binks. Long for Kyoto again. That's going to work. He picks it up on Gonzalez. Goes five hole on Westberg. Out of absolutely nothing for Montreal, Romel Kyoto's tied the game. Lots it past Westberg. Look at this. Gets Omar Gonzalez on the turn. He can't keep up with him for pace. Oro Jr. rolled in, Piatti, Akinola's in the middle. Pablo Piatti cutting it back on Wanyama. Now the cross on the deck, Akinola's there! 20-year-old born in Detroit, raised in Toronto. Three goals in two games for Toronto. And the Reds have retaken the lead down in Orlando. ...yesterday about Piatti and Pozuelo, and he said a lot of times you don't know where they're going to pass because they see the pass that you don't. That's a good little touch around the corner. Corrales playing it up now for Kyoto. That was tight air. Kyoto, Mavingo going to ground. Jair Marufo points to the spot. Penalty for Montreal. We draw Toronto FC out, and you create some of that space and that matchup that you want. It looks there like Mavinga actually gets the ball here. So let's see. As Kyoto goes past, here comes Mavinga. In the first place, I'm not sure why he's even making this challenge the way that he is, but he gets the ball with his back leg and then Kyoto goes over the top. It's a reckless challenge. Tight air 10 for 10 in his career from the spot. 11 for 11. Two all, and still plenty of time in this first half. To go in and try and win the ball in that fashion, it's a reckless tackle. Takes out Kyoto as well. Tight air steps up. The one from a long ways out in the Champions League back in March. This thing just swings and swings. Here's Akinola again. Io Akinola scores his second of the night. Toronto retakes the lead. Have that San Jose in Vancouver. For Toronto FC, the other way, Victor Wanyama gets caught here. The run off his shoulder. Biggs can't keep up with the speed. Does he time his run? Yes, he's onside. Akinola, and then the composure, that first touch is so good there. It just extends his ability, his movement, and the gap in the distance between him and Binks. Binks can't catch up now. Composed, far post, keeps his balance, keeps his composure. And a lead change once again. Routine once again to take third quarter of the night for Montreal. So into a good area, and the header's off the post. That was Binks up to get it. It was almost in slow motion, wasn't it? Regular we can talk about history. that one again, though, if you want to. This is game 5,919. 11 times it's now happened. Here's Piatti. Cutting inside. Piatti letting fly. And Diop had to read that right at the end and palm it up over the bar. Seen some heavy legs out there. Kyoto getting across in. Jackson Amal. It was right to Westberg, though. Second save for him tonight. UFC back line. Oh, Akinola the other way as Raitala fell down. Ayo Akinola! It's in for a hat trick! Well, have a day, young man. Have a tournament. As he, look at the strength there. Get in the weight room. And then the composure. Just a little dink over the top. New Jersey, be tuned in for that one. You want to tease? Well, you're going to get yes. the high-pressing, high-energy tempo from the New York Red Bulls. Some real talent. You look at Kaku, Danny Royer. Quick look at it. Yeah, hand is penalty. up. It's a penalty, yeah. Well, Come on, get together. Come on, we 60 get seconds, plus maybe more. Laurent Simon, the arm up. So second penalty tonight. Goes oh. upper 
right this time. So we'll see how much time Shire Marufo gives off, because from when we stopped to look at it, it was just shy of 94 play left. What a penalty, by the way. Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.